premium dried fruits. It's been a little while since our last report. We've actually had some very challenging weather conditions. We've had up to three heavy rain events that have uh, severely impacted some of our early varieties. Uh, we had escaped some of the, uh, the weather early in the season that had um, threatened to give us some trouble, but luckily we got through that. Um, unfortunately, the last uh, six weeks we've had three quite severe rain events, and that has impacted the Thompson variety especially. I'm here in front of a couple of bins that we've had delivered from growers, and this is typical of the fruit um, that we are getting from the Sultana. So it's still a nice, nice quality berry, but you can see the colour's quite, quite brown and um, not that light golden colour that we aim for if we have the perfect drying conditions. So just this spin has uh, come straight from the farm because we dry it on the vine and harvest it on the vine. You end up with this vine material in here, but that all comes out at the processing stage. Um, but you can see good quality fruit, but um, the colour is just not, not what we aim for. So that is always the severe impact of this wet weather. Come to this other bin, another style of fruit. Again, this one's probably a little cleaner than the other one other bin in terms of uh, fine material but the berries are you know quite dark discolored and um, more of a, a three and four crown sultana rather than that five crown light color that we aim for uh, at the start of the season so the thompson is a uh, is a little bit disappointing this year um, it won't suit every market but we're still in with a chance, as I'll show you in the next clip, with the sun musket and the sun glow. The sun muskets are uh, still offering some good light fruit. This is a patch uh, of sun musket that still has some really nice light colour, um, and this will be a really high quality five crown light product. We do have some sun muskets that are darker than this. But across the district, Sun Musket now is our, our largest volume variety and will give us good volumes to supply all of our market. So as long as we don't get any rain in the next two to three weeks that affects this fruit as it dries down, we're still going to have some nice product to offer. Sun Glow variety, which represents up to a thousand tons of our volume uh, is also looking quite good. It's only just been cut a lot of this fruit because of it being the latest variety we have. You can feel it, it it's, we call this, it's still quite grapey, which means it's, it's still close to fresh. So it's only been cut in the last week. Um, you know, it's almost like fresh fruit basically, but the color of it is still, um, representative of something that will dry down as a light coloured product so we're hoping that at between sun glow and the sun musket that we're still going to get a good volume of light coloured fruit. The currants have progressed really nicely uh, this is typical of uh, where currants are at you can see their uh, nice colour they're drying down they're probably about a week away still a little bit doughy but uh, we've actually got a lot more currants to sell this year so um, we asked you to look at currants, we've probably got double what we had last year and more in the ground so we'll have a good supply of currants going forward. So uh, that finishes this report, um, obviously the rain and uh, we've had a lot of humidity as well that we've had to deal with that's really made it tricky to, um, to create some nice light coloured fruit but as you've seen with the sun musket and sun glow we've still got a chance of of achieving a good range of grades and colours and uh, that'll mean that we can uh, satisfy all our customers still this year. So I'll be back in about two or three weeks which is when we're going to see the majority of sun muskets and sun glow come in, hopefully with something good to report and then you'll get a really good idea of what our actual uh, season results going to be. So until then it's bye for now.